Hello, welcome to a very special Red Dwarf model review. Today I'm happy to bring you the Crichton 7s. Uh, this was brought out in 1993. This is before the other D4 models. This one is an actual scaled replica. And um, just to give you an indication of the size, um, this is the Crichton that you get with the Starbuck playset. And this is near. And then that's far away. Near. Far away. So there he is, standing beside him. The Sevens model is a foot long, that's 30 centimeters in height, and it's saying a scale replica. Very well done. The detail on this is brilliant. Um, usually um, I show you the assembling, but I got it assembled and painted um, from eBay. They so, can sometimes go for up to 100 um, pounds sterling, but um, I'm glad to say I got this at less than half the price there. So I'll just take it on a tour of the model now and then show you the assembling parts later on. As you can see, fantastically done. Great features around the mouth and the eyes. And the ears, just like Crichton is in the show. Continues around, you can see all the different angles in his head. Back around to the face. Fantastic detail in here. So if we continue on down, you can see the neck rings there, the shoulder pads, great detail in there. And go down the suit, the abdominal disc, the arms are there, all the different patches, got the groinal belt, The hands have great detail in them. I'm not sure if they're going to come out here. But um, brilliant detail in the hands there. Then going down the legs. And the boots there at the bottom. So just look at the box and stuff and how it gets assembled. Lovely box illustration there. Nice little gag on the side. And then I can just show you this picture on eBay. And um, this is a pre-assembled kit. You can see the torso, the legs, the arms, there's a few more bits and pieces to put together on this scale replica than there is when the D4 and the 1.7s is brought out. You can see two things to note here. The head has a kind of a fleshy colour on it to give you a base coat, I reckon, before you paint it. And then if you look down at the kind of abdominal or the, the belt there around the groin, there's a hole in one of the in one of those uh, rectangle things. And that is to put a groinal attachment. I don't have that here, but um, you can have Crichton's groinal attachment coming out and you can hold it or you can swing it over his shoulder. Um, nice little gag there. And then if, if I take it to this, this is the, um, the instruction manual, and you can get a real sense of how many bits and pieces go into this. You can see the shoulder blades there, the abdominal disc, all the little bits and pieces. So up here, it gives you a great step-by-step -step guide how to do it. <clears throat> it is made of vinyl and uh, apparently it's very tough to cut into so you put all the, the, those bits and pieces you have to cut into some hot water in a jug then get a scalpel cut it all out and then you can put it back together um, in any way you want. You can have the arms up or down, have the torso twisted, the head twisted you can put it into that and then when it dries and cools down um, you can have it any way you want. So that concludes today's Red Dwarf model review on what's probably turned into be my favourite Red Dwarf model. I think it's fantastic and if you do get a chance to see one on eBay I'd snap it up and hopefully you get a good price for it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon with another Red Dwarf model review.